the eight winners you are about to meet are being honored today for their remarkable body of work and for the vital role that they've been playing in shaping the dynamic and diverse art scene that we truly enjoy across Canada. Et maintenant, place aux gagnants des prix du gouverneur général en art visuel et en art médiatique de 2014. I'd like to invite Kim Adams to come up on stage. The Sadie Bronfman Award winner for excellence in fine crafts, Mesdames et Messieurs, Sandra Brownlee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Max Dean. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, Raymond Gervais. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Angela Grauerholz. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Sullivan. Each year, these awards honor one outstanding contribution that celebrates champions for the visual and media arts in Canada. The award goes to Bryden Smith, former curator at the National Gallery of Canada and the Art Gallery of Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryden Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, Carol Wing. Congratulations to all of you. Of course, this is the highest honor available to artists in our country, uh, but that doesn't mean you can relax now. Just the opposite. It means the spotlights are beamed directly on each of you. The exhibition is now officially open. Allons voir les splendeurs de ces grands Canadiens. Merci. but at the same time how many people so helped me to get to this point. Uh, the piece that's in behind me is called Min and Lure and it was a, it was a work I, that I had done for a project in uh, North Bay and there's 10 artists were asked to make uh, uh, ice sheds. But this one is said like we wanted to do a, a fish hut that you can actually utilize and work. It wasn't just an art object but at the same time something that we use. It just ended up in the National Gallery and so happy they ended up buying the piece, but at the same time they bought my favorite horse. So it's just because I already had a book for the next winter and there's going to be 10 of us going back out the lake. But I said, no, I have to build another one. So I feel really good about this. I feel proud. I've been advised by my loved ones to really bask in this, to soak in this absolutely wonderful experience and to actually and to, and to uh, relax a little bit and to... Um, feel a sense of accomplishment and pride. The, weaving, the work that I have for this exhibition are, are five weavings. They're part of a series I titled Weavings Remembered, and they're based on um, a series of work I did, weavings I made in 1983 to five, uh, I titled uh, The Unusual Animal Series. That work still is kind of in my mind. I thought, I want to revisit that and kind of weave what I can remember from that series. Like there's a tradition in textiles, like say in pre-Columbian pre textiles, for example, or ceramic shards you might see in a museum or in a book. There's often a weaver sitting there with a little fragment of cloth, and she's referring to that, and, and that's her, her guide to how to make a new cloth. So it's a little bit of that, but mostly it's me celebrating, remembering, revisiting work, and only as an older weaver, a more skillful weaver, and maybe a, a, um, um, yeah, and a more experienced maker. Obviously, it's absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, uh, it's thrilling, but the most important part for me was to meet my fellow laureates. But of course, I'm terrifically happy. <laughs> I, could, I could possibly win something like this and uh, be acknowledged like this. The photograph behind me is uh, part of a series that I did uh, um, thinking that I should look at how I explore portraiture nowadays uh, after 
what has been over 30 years. But I'm interested in that kind of gesture that expresses something one can't really know. And that's always a bit what I like to uh, think and talk about. Things we don't know, but we are looking at nevertheless. Uh, bien entendu, c'est c'est un grand plaisir de gagner ce prix et bien sûr c'est un privilège d'avoir un prix quand même parce que on connaît tous les artistes euh, d'autres artistes euh, vraiment importants qui font un travail euh, dans la durée comme nous depuis très longtemps et qui mériteraient aussi un prix. So this piece that I'm showing here is from 2012. Uh, it, it's entitled Finir, To End, and it's a, 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 an installation uh, that puts together Beckett and Debussy. The last Beckett, there, there are excerpts from uh, his last uh, text, uh, it's entitled Soubresaut, Searing Stills. Claude Debussy, at the end of his life, wanted to write three last sonatas. And he gave us the instrumentation, uh, but he actually never composed the music because he died. So we have this very unusual instrumentation, oboe, uh, horn, harpsichord, and the, the work that I'm showing uh, puts uh, face to face the very last Beckett and the very last Debussy. So uh, what we're actually seeing behind me is me. Uh, so this is from a series called Objects Waiting uh, from 2011. It's where I take uh, things around me from my studio, uh, from my home, and where I start to interact with them. And the criteria for a good photograph, i.e. one that would make it into this room, was that I had to be prepared to give the object away. In other words, I had to express everything I wanted to know or do with this one photograph. Uh, quite honestly, it's quite a cathartic experience. I think it's a really almost life-changing experience because I think what's happening is at a certain point you kind of do this and you do this and you do this and while you're acknowledged and while you get recognition for it, there's a point at which you suddenly realize that you're getting recognition for the work that you've done, i.e. the things. And in this case, what I think you start to realize is that there's that moment when you're being uh, acknowledged for the career that you've had and the contribution that you've made. And I think it's a kind of uh, interesting moment for all of us to have come to terms with.